right more of the coolant pump. I hope you can see that. There was, after all I got the crud out of here, a grub screw. So I'm hoping I can tap the aluminium off the motor shaft. Once I find a decent hammer in all this mess. This should be big enough. Straight into the shredder. So that is the aluminium casting for the DSG. Coolant pump. There, it feels really good. Don't let anybody see me using these plastic calipers. Three eighths. Champion. Sorry, I've still not tidied the garage up. So, those of you who've been Dean Smith and Grace fans will have been watching David Wilkins's videos and my pump is slightly less worse off than his but not much but I've been shamed into uh, finishing it off so here's the rather moth-eaten base but the inside is not too bad but the impeller was incredibly disintegrated. I'm not sure that's white balancing properly but anyway so eventually I 3D printed after a lot of attempts using nylon in the end because the other stuff, the whatever it's called, was too brittle um, so I've got a nylon impeller and whether or not it will last I don't know once it gets chips swirling around in it but it was impossible to buy one from DSG um, they appear even worse off than normal when you phone them up. Uh, so I'm going to reassemble this and uh, connect it up. I, I'm not in a position to use it with any coolant just at the moment. Um, so I'll be interested to see how David gets on because I think it's not going to be up to providing flood coolant to his normal standards. Because I think those are massive... Grundfoss pumps. Sorry, that's upside down, but um, I have had it running and the work, the motor works beautifully. So um, I'll bring you back when I've got it more installed. So um, that's the bottom back on with stainless steel bolts that are too long, and there's meant to be in here 
a gauze to stop the bigger chunks of swarf and chips going in there. So eventually when I find some correct sized gauze, uh, metal gauze, I was going to get this recast or use it as a pattern in some way but uh, the shrinkage wouldn't have made it would be the right size but I wanted really to get a bronze impeller cast but um, all these things just take forever and never get anywhere if you're too much of a perfectionist but uh, that would be the ideal anyway there's a better view of the label uh, it's a three phase motor here is the bracket which I have repainted using two pack car paint um, not very well but um, that'll stop it looking terrible and I like This stuff, I'm not sure how good it is. I think it's probably pretty good. There's lots of people recommend it, especially the guy from New Zealand. And um, I'll reassemble it and bring you back. There's the electric electrics inside. So one of the trickiest bits of this has been reassembling the conduit for the wiring so it's taken me about an hour to figure out how those cream coloured pipes that I've repainted went back together unfortunately there's a little porthole that will allow me to get the wires up round the bend that then screws on to that and um, Bob's your uncle I want it to keep the um, conduit because it's got a manufacturer's name on it that I can't quite remember now but it's completely unavailable and I suspect the modern equivalent would be a bit useless compared to it